trapped. Empathy for animals. Reading. A bear finds himself in danger after he enters a village. Read this short story by Sigran Srivastava to find out what happens to him. The bear padded down the village path and stopped to sniff the air. The village lay sleeping in the hot afternoon sun. The bear walked on. He was young and chubby. Blades of grass lay knotted on his soft, shining, black fur. When he arrived at an open gate, he peeped into a courtyard. A girl sat near a cot, scrubbing a brass plate with ash and sand. The polished plate sparkled in the midday sun. The glare hit the bear's eyes. He purred. The girl looked up. The dish fell from her hands, and she shrieked, Baloo. What noise was that? The young bear was puzzled, he was frightened. He drew back a step or two. But then there was a loud noise that made him really scared. Dogs. Barking burst out from everywhere, far and near. Suddenly, the young animal could smell danger. He turned towards the road that led through the fields back into the forest. But it was too late. The road was not safe. It was full of humans. Their hunting cries rang in the air. The bear ran. As fast as he could over open drains and a garbage. Dump. But the hunters pressed in on him. Through a cloud of dust, he saw them coming towards him, a gang of children with raised sticks. And close on their heels were the dogs. Get him. Get him. Get him. The bear did not understand the cries, but the wild barking of the dogs terrified him. He turned and ran blindly into the next lane and the next, and then into another. But his efforts were in vain. Confused with terror, he lost his way. Now he was angry. He rushed down a lane that led into a square. The animal did not know that the square led nowhere. The square was walled in on all four sides. In the middle of it was an old, dry well. The bear got to the well in a few leaps and looked around. There was no place to hide. He was trapped. The animal now turned round to face the children and the dogs. The children began to throw stones at him, and he was hit first on his shoulder, then on his back. The dogs dug their teeth into his hind legs. The bear shook himself free and hit them with a paw. They fell back, and he swung round. 
and with one mighty leap, he disappeared into the dark depths of the well. The children bent over the rim and threw stones and sticks into the well. The bear, angry and terrified, snarled from below. This went on for some time. Then, all of a sudden, the stones stopped falling, and the shouts ceased. The wounded and frightened bear looked up. A single human face bent down from the top. It was the face of a girl. The bear did not know that, but he heard the girl's kind and gentle voice and felt that this was a friend. There was something in her voice that comforted him. He stopped snarling. That's better, the girl said. Poor bear. How tired you must be. Now sit down and wait. I'll get you out of this. She turned round and faced the children. Everybody held her in high regard and the children knew that their bear chase would displease her. Why are you torturing this animal? She asked them. He has done you no harm. Go away. Come on, Mira Diddy. We didn't mean any harm, she heard someone say. The bear frightened the girl, and we wanted to scare him, that's all. It was just a joke. I don't think so, she said. Chasing a young bear into a well. Luckily, the poor bear hasn't broken his neck. Now, could you help me get him out? Can you get me a ladder? I can, said a small boy, Lakshman, and ran off. In a few minutes he was back, dragging a ladder behind him. I've got a ladder, he said. Wonderful, said Mira. This will help us rescue the trapped animal. Now, help me get it into the well. Careful. We mustn't frighten the little fellow. Mira looked into the well and spoke soothingly to the bear. Then, slowly and carefully, she and Lakshman lowered the ladder into the well. The little bear growled in anxiety. He clawed at the ladder wildly. No, no, said Mira softly. It'll not hurt you. It's just a ladder. Move back, make room for the ladder. The bear stepped back and sniffed at the ladder curiously. Slowly, he tried the first step, then another and then the third. He climbed the next six steps quickly. When he had almost reached the middle of the well, he stopped and looked up at the girl with trusting eyes. Come up, she said gently. No one is going to hurt you. She and Lakshman moved away from the well. Would the bear come up safely? 
Mira wondered. Anything could happen before that. The ladder could slide off. Or it could fall forward. Or one of its rungs could break. Or... As they watched anxiously, the head of the bear emerged above the rim of the well, and then, his shoulders. Then he sniffed, climbed onto the rim, and leapt to the ground. He looked at Mira. Go on, run home, she said, smiling at him. The bear got to his legs and bowed. Yes, he did. Lakshman saw him bow. He bowed to Mira and then padded down the lane to the main road. Once he was on the road, he ran through the large green fields back into the forest.